In a bid to lessen the paperwork, do away with fax machines and waiting times, e-governance has become key to creating efficient administrative procedures. However, in Germany, the reality of the matter is very different. Public services and offices still have lengthy bureaucratic processes in place. My last encounter in an office was due to my student loan. It was hell to get all the papers sorted. They are always so slow and inflexible. Of course, it could be easier, but try to teach something to public servants. Good luck. By 2022, all the services offered by the German authorities should be online, according to a law passed in 2017. Digitalization is therefore once again part of the election campaign. Everyone thinks digitalization just means, well, we'll just buy software. But the problem is structural. It's the thinking, it's the culture within the administration. Today we have an administration that works according to principles that were established a hundred years ago. Extremely hierarchical. A European comparison proves him right. On the list of countries who've replaced traditional procedures with e-governance, Germany only succeeded in reaching 21st place. Federalism is also damaging, says the expert. It doesn't make sense to have different solutions in every municipality, especially when there is a federal authority that has all the data, as is the case for vehicle registration, for example. Why do the municipalities also need different systems to carry out care registration? Digitalization is a mammoth task. Municipalities will face many hurdles until scheduled changes take place at the end of 2022. Day to day there are often problems because cultural issues have not been clarified, because in some cases we cannot acquire qualified personnel and so on and so forth. These are simply things that slow us down. Digitalization will cost us a lot of money, but it will also bring us a lot of benefits and effectiveness in the long run. Aschaffenburg knows a thing or two about digitalization. The city has already won a prize for a digital project. The mayor does not want to leave anyone behind. We have to take the ideas of our citizens on board. That is why we have a digital lab in the city centre of Aschaffenburg. Citizens actively use it. They come here and ask us, what are you up to? What's the next step? Despite the many unanswered questions, one thing is for sure. Executing e-governance will occupy the newly elected federal government for quite some time.